previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's... It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so beautiful, just like you. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, 
families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. I only saw what I wanted to see. Until it was almost too late. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. This all feels like someone else's... However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. 
and I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. But shouldn't that be up to Rachel to decide? Rachel is curious and determined. She's always going to want to know more. I can believe that. She won't be concerned about her own safety. She never has been. 
Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. Whoa. Sarah Gearhart is a known associate of that psycho who attacked Drew. Then again, so is Frank. I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Sorry that tonight turned out so... Uh, differently. That's all right. I'm really quite glad that you're here. Thanks. But... why? While Rachel's dealing with all of this, it's a relief to know she can talk to you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's fine. Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right, but... Can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. It's so weird to look at this now. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this.
Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sam. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. The ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. she'll have something from tonight.
Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... Wait to leave this place. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Check it out. It's... beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point?
It's all lies. Everything. <laughs> My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman? My real mom? She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone. The fact that she's here right now, that she came here, for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and... Get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> Really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her... How will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It 
used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? wrong? Don't you see anything? Like what? There's nothing here. Really? That's odd. Well, I know it's not the spark plug. I just got that replaced. What? I said it's not the spark plug! Stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. 
Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait, David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? I have a question to ask you first. I mean, a favor. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I would... Really appreciate it. I'm your favorite client, remember? I'll be in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real. <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing.
Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. What do I want the record to show? The sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. I wonder if that's the universe where Dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. Russia, huh? Kind of far from L.A. Best vodka in the world, though. Rachel would love it. Figures. Um, what? Nice to see my work is appreciated. Rachel really is good at everything she does. Thou art an idiot. Yeah, go skip. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Stan Stanwick here, bringing you up to the minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Scene. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's. Literally nothing. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. Fortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Better than nothing. Well, the problem is these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, adults. You're welcome, plant. Does the ABPD have any You're welcome, plant. I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office to get to the bottom of it. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. It's so weird to be home.
As much as this place sucks, at least it's not full of secrets. Nobody's hiding anything. Well, except me and my pot. And everything with Rachel. But how could I possibly tell Mom what I'm up to? I'm so tired of pretending things are fine to mom. I, I always mess up again, and then she gets mad. Maybe, maybe I should try not to see her today. favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay. My towels probably... No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit. Gross. and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate. We never got around to it. Ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down.
I feel like wearing on this easy ass thing. All right, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. <laughs> 